So again, my first aim today is to help you guys navigate and start to look at the program so that you feel clarity with your experience. So please make some notes of how it's laid out. You've got the control bar at the very top. So that's default. It always shows up. This is an area that you can hide if you want to. I don't recommend you do. Right below the control bar, you have the toolbar. This is Logic's most often used key commands. Key command would be control option command T to keep that open. I would just leave it open to begin with and I would customize it. How do I customize it? Great, control click, get back in there and you can, um, you can open that up as well. So, um, and you'll notice a, a relationship with control clicking all over the program and we'll go over that as well. So um, on the left hand side, you'll find the library to the right of that inspector the key command for the library is y key command for the inspector is i and then to the bottom you've got the mixer this houses uh, the smart controls as well as well all the editors so the piano roll editor the audio editor uh, key command p and e respectively on the right hand side we've got the list editors I, I wouldn't worry about those right now. I'm just letting you know kind of everything that's available. But inside of the list editor, you'll find like key signature, tempo, things like that. The notepad, um, option command P is essentially a place where you can jot down notes for the track as a whole um, or just individual tracks like, hey, add compression to the bass and, you know, add saturation to the snare. So uh, you can keep a detailed log for yourself or your collaborators wonderful wonderful feature i use it all the time you've got the apple loops key command o so that's available as well sometimes you just want a quick tambourine you just want something pull it in really quick um and i advise you highly to sometimes just put a marker a placeholder that you just you know can can access um don't get stuck on the perfect idea at that juncture just put something in there and then you can you know revisit it later perhaps when you have more energy when you have more creativity um what have you and then the browsers, key command F, I believe, and the browsers have to do with, you know, pulling in other media into your session. For example, if you wanted the channel strip of a vocal from another session that you did a year ago, you can do all this within Logic, and uh, it's pretty phenomenal as well. So I know we're, go over, we're going over a lot of information, um, but once we get settled, I, th I feel like this, would, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to, to grasp. So once we populate the program, Here's what we got. We've got the control bar at the very top, right? We've got the toolbar right below that. Library key command Y. Inspector, which is probably one of the most important parts of the program. So remember key command I, very important. You've got the mixer key command X, and then you've got the, um, the editors or the browsers on the right. Now, the one thing that doesn't change if you haven't noticed is the tracks area, which is right in the middle. So this is kind of like a multi-window program and everything revolves around that center um, area. So you've got the tracks area, which is, you know, where we add MIDI events or drag and loops, excuse me. And then to the left of that is the track header. And this is where we house all our tracks, right? One through 100, one through 50. So just be aware of this, this workflow here. If you want to open up a window, go ahead and open it, hit the key command, pretty simple stuff. And then get rid of it so you can have more access to a um, to your screen. Uh, if you have a laptop, 13, 15 inch, it's not a bad idea to um, remove your dock from the bottom of your screen so that again, you can have more to play with there.